What's poppin'? Welcome to 2010. It's your boy Uncle L. Starting the year off fresh. Another video blog. Let you know what's hot in the streets. And, you know, on a sad note, um, on January 12th, uh, Haiti, an uh, island off the coast in the Caribbean, uh, was devastated by a earthquake that registered 7.0 on the Richter scale, which was the highest uh, in over 200 years for that country. Now, Haiti already had it uh, tough because, you know, uh, economically speaking, they weren't that, you know, well off and they were struggling. But for something, for a, a you know, catastrophic event to take place like that, they're pretty much crippled, crippled them. Um, People, uh, you know, they've been reaching out to other countries uh, to, you know, seek help. Uh, estimators um, think that's going to take $562 million to actually save the island and to bring them back uh, to somewhat to where, I mean, to where they were before. Um, during the course of this week, you know, there's been a, a large outcry. Uh, Wyclef John has... Uh, led a lot of those efforts, him being um, a native of the, the island. And at one point, they were saying they were getting uh, over 10,000 text messages a second. People donating money. As uh, Wednesday, uh, January 13th, there were uh, $10 million sent, uh, which really shows the heart of people and shows that, you know, people are really, you know, shocked by this event and, and wanting to help. Now, um, three million people uh, were affected and displaced in this, um, you know, in this event. It happened in Port-au-Prince, which is the capital of Haiti. Um, and the sad thing about Haiti is that over half of its population is under the age of 18. So, the fact that, you know, to rebuild the efforts... They're going to have to get help from the outside because, you know, when half of your population is 18, you know, most people can't, they can't take care of themselves because they're children. And it, it just, it, it's a sad thing. But a lot of people have reached out. The New York Yankees uh, donated $500,000. Um, Madonna uh, gave $250,000 herself. And uh, allegedly, um, the uh, dummy of 2009, uh, Tiger Woods, um, was supposed to a donate a mobile plane, which is really important because um, as of earlier this week, they were really needing doctors because uh, eight of their hospitals, um, eight of their hospitals were either destroyed or or severely hit. So they don't have a lot of um, places for the doctors to help the people. Um, and as far as you know, getting help there is it's hard because. When they do send uh, food, supplies, water, you know, the looters get there and it just, I mean, you know, people when they need to survive, it's almost animalistic. You know, it's like the end of the world type thing where, uh, you know, people do what it takes to, to do what they got to do. Um, it just, you know, China donated a million dollars, I guess, which is good, but... You know, when you think about all the rice and stuff they make in China, you think they can give more than that. It's kind of childish to me, but, you know, they are trying. Obama pledged to give $100 million to um, Haiti, which is which is excellent. And we, we definitely don't want um, what happened in New Orleans uh, to happen again. And, you know, this is foreign soil opposed to it being American soil like it was in New Orleans, but a different administration and... Obama was, you know, immediate in, in, in definitely supporting that effort because you have to learn from your past mistakes. So definitely a shout out to the current uh, Democratic uh, regime in office. But my, my heart and my prayers go out to anybody who has family in Haiti, anybody who's from there, um, you know, in a, in a world filled with chaos, this is a sad event. But the heart of Haiti knows that, you know, they won't make it easy. You know, just, they just won't die. They just won't give up. They're going to try. And there's various foundations that you can give to. Um, one that I know of, you can text 
Y E L E, um, and they are actually donate five dollars. And there's various others that you can look up yourself, but I definitely had to take uh, time out to, um, and I'll have a moment of silence for them. And you know, I hope that they rebuild, and you know, hope that they you know move forward, and that you know everybody comes together. Uh, sometimes it takes tragedy to to bring forth everybody together, and you know, let's hope that we can make this happen. Your boy Uncle L, another video blog. Just let you know what's hot, what's buzzing. Holler at me next time.